for sale, a 1,600-acre property, waterfront views of the Tennessee River, and an unfinished nuclear power plant. And the reason we're selling it is simple. We're not seeing an increase in electric load growth. After 40 years of investment to the tune of $5 billion, the country's largest federal utility, the Tennessee Valley Authority, is deciding it's time to cut its losses. There had been great hopes for the Belafonte nuclear power plant. Work began here in the mid-70s on the backside of the country's nuclear energy boom. But the plant never generated a single watt of electricity. Site manager Jim Chardos started at Belafonte in 1994. If you're going to make 1,200 megawatts, you need to, need to sell it to somebody, and if there's no need for it, then you're not going to finish. And that's really what's happened. Rising construction costs also played a role, so work on the plant stopped in 1988. A series of starts and stops preceded the decision earlier this year to sell. Our initial bid starts at 36.4 million. Uh, what we want to be able to see over time with that spend plan and the economic development plan is how we're going to get that five billion dollars that we have invested into this facility back over time. Sales of U.S. nuclear plants are not all that unusual. The Nuclear Energy Institute says at least 30 units have been sold in part or whole since 1999. In this case, the unfinished plans dashed locals' dreams of jobs and prosperity. So the hope is that the new buyer brings the promise of employment back. We take the jobs, that's what we want. So, and it would help the area as far as land values go. And, uh, population would improve, and businesses would come in. Nevada-based Phoenix Energy has said it will offer $38 million in hopes of using it for a new non-nuclear technology to generate power. Bidding starts this week, and the Tennessee Valley Authority hopes to have a sold sign up by next month. Marina Hutchinson, The Associated Press.